different kind of drill, different battery, and I think the battery, the drill, it, well, the battery goes, the drill's gone, I guess, because I just charged it, and it's, it's already out of power, so I'm going to finish it off with my new, newer, Black and Decker with a different kind of battery. Maybe it wasn't the battery. Maybe it was this. Bob bought these to make the fence. They have a star bit like this. This comes in each package. You get a little star bit, and I'm thinking the reason you do is because they strip. Not as easily as uh, Phillips. Much better. Perfect height for me, too. Oh, I'm dusty. Well, that's my bracing. This is the rug that I put under the mattress. So then it stays in place. These are my baskets. Three of them. Oh. It's a Tetris game. <laughs>
y'all were with me when I got this, and I can't tell you how grateful I am to still have it and have it still running. I clean it nearly every time with the dust filters because it's an amazing, unbelievable amount of dust. There you have it. Exactly what did I do? What did I accomplish? Whew. Those are braces. Cause I noticed, I knew it was going to. It was kind of wobbly. But that really, that did, it did good. Putting these on did make the baskets more, not as easily accessible. But that's okay. I have, is this all I've done? Why am I so tired? I shouldn't be. I haven't done that much. <sighs> I did cut the wood and I sanded it. And guess what I discovered? The desert is like giant sandpaper. <laughs> I just scrubbed it in the dirt. It worked beautifully. Then I finished it off with my regular sandpaper. I know why I'm so tired, because I got up earlier than usual. I've been going ever since. So, I'm going to end this here. I wanted to show you a little project. Me working with wood. And then when it gets down to finishing with paint or stain, I'm gonna do, I'm doing a lot of projects that I've had in mind, and then I'll do all that at the same time when I get to that point. stay in here and do any work. But this is all I wanted to get done today in here. Let's get that wood. That wood was sitting on the bed in the tiny. And what, and now the wood is out of my way there and I'm moving, eventually the mattress in the tiny will go over to Bob's place. And then the tiny, the bed there will turn into a, a bench cause it's gonna be my baking house. I still ain't told y'all that story, but it's coming. Um, and so is Sarah. Let's get out of here. It's too hot. I'm sweating. And I've already taken my sweater off. Okay, here's the situation, y'all. I'm gonna put my wagon back. Last few days, it's been like below normal temperatures. And you've seen me doing all the wood stuff. I have as yet to put the cords away. It's only been a couple of days. And I kept thinking, I need to do more, and I do, and I will. But today, 
I have a list and that was the start of the list. So I had to get that out because there's a bunch of stuff still in the truck that needs to go to the tiny. And there's a bunch of stuff in the tiny that needs to come to the truck. So, what has been going on with all these freezing temperatures? Oh, I think I told you, water frozen. And water went from frozen in the hose here to frozen in the pipe. I had no water yesterday. It never got warm enough to thaw. But apparently, it warmed up overnight and it thawed. Oh my goodness, it's awful warm in here too. So this morning, I still haven't got dishes done, but Okay, it was too hot in there, too. Hey, Mona. So, what was I saying? The water has been frozen, but it's already thawed out. It's just 11 o'clock in the morning, and I have lots of work to do today because right now the wind's not blowing. The sun is shining but they're trying to make it so it won't. By three o'clock, all of that will be a complete cover. Okay, let's quickly finish this little conversation about the frozen water and the pipes. And it has happened before, and my only um, anxiety was if something froze and broke. And as far as I can tell, nothing has broken. I'm very happy about that. I have made a long list of things to do. I've made a short list of things to purchase. I have a trip into town this week, which I believe I'm going to make tomorrow because I can go to the thrift store I discovered is there, which I still, I've been trying for a couple of weeks and I just keep missing the time or the day. And I am going to try possibly to go there tomorrow. Um, it turns out I might need to, oh, I might need to, if I could find some uh, jeans would be nice. <laughs> I'm cold. It's, um, it's warmer when you're in the sun. So I'm busy today. Um, thinking, doing, making lists, and checking them off. And I am very happy to report that my water is flowing freely to my house. <sighs> I don't know about Bob's. It was frozen up yesterday. I am hoping, I am hoping that everything held. Okay. Well, we're back at Bob's. <laughs> Let's see how much I can ramble this morning because I have many things that I would very much like to say about what's going on in the world today. And I think what I'm going to say is that I hope that my videos, which are keeping me sane, I don't have anybody to talk to, except very few people. I can voice message with my girls, and I talk on the phone to a girlfriend back east. I actually have a couple that I could and do, but as far as a regular conversation and a live and in-person conversation, I don't, once a week, I go into town and talk to people that I'm not quite sure what their names are, but I'm learning because it takes me a while to connect the people. I am grieved that my daughter is not coming. 
I was really looking forward to kind of building a tribe, having a community. <laughs> and that, that was really hard for me to uh, adjust to and readjust to. Realize, I didn't realize how much I had put in my brain that was going to happen when they got here. I mean, I wasn't just dreaming of all the magical, wonderful things. This is a hard thing to do. It's a hard thing to do. It's a hard lifestyle to live. So back to the disappointment. It was emotionally hard, and then the weather was really bad, and then there were all these holidays and anniversaries of things, and it was hard. So I'm 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 trying to recover. Oh boy, that sun on my back. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, that feels so good. Um, I realized I am also suffering from lack of sunshine. Because, you know, this summer I was out in the sun so much. And then all of a sudden, it's like, ooh, it's too cold to go out there. I'm making progress. And I'm going to see if Bob's water works. Thank you, Abba. I just didn't want anything to break. I had ways of getting water. Um, I discovered the duck hose and the water supply there was working in the afternoon. So I filled up a five-gallon bucket and I used that to... I already had drinking water for myself. So I was just uh, trying to get enough for the animals to make sure they had enough. The thing is, I come over once a day, at least, most of the time twice, and I will look around and I will think and imagine and decide. And I have decided that I'm bringing my sewing machine back. <laughs> because I can sew in here. and. It has wood stove. So here's Bob's little tiny stove. That's what I'm getting ready to do. Oh my goodness, and let me tell you how grateful I am to have running water. You know, I think there's some of you out there that have had a loss of electricity who understand. I mean, you only went a couple of days and now you're back on. That gratitude you feel, I feel that a lot. <laughs> I am most grateful that nothing has suffered, you know, like broken pipes and that kind of stuff. It has been unusually cold, but um, I think the unusually warm is getting ready to return. According to the forecast coming out of Phoenix, Phoenix is getting ready to have probably above normal temperatures in the coming week. And their weather is, if there's weather and it's coming through Phoenix, and it can cause me a problem. But most of the cold weather we get is actually what's coming into California and dips down because I'm at the very I'm at the very corner there with Nevada and and California and yeah it snows in Vegas as a matter of fact I have met a youtuber I haven't met him personally I just found out about a youtuber that is in Dolan Springs he lives on the other side over there and he got snowed on, man. Well, he must be on the other end of town up higher. Because they got Joshua trees over there. And I think it's 3,500 feet. But it's a particular elevation they, that they grow in. And it starts at one place. And we don't have Joshua trees. So I am not at the elevation enough to grow Joshua trees. But just on the other side of the mountains there in Dolan Springs. There's Joshua trees. 
So it's higher over there. And Mona's wanting in, and I got to get my work started. This is me trying to figure out where to leave my wagon last because I've been using it. I got to go chop some wood too. I'm going to go split some wood and fill up my basket to bring in the house rather than taking it out of the can. It's too pretty. I need to do the work. So I'm going to go do that. I got my tools, my gloves, my bag, and my wagon. <laughs> Let's go split some wood. Bummer. My log's so dried out that I can lift it. This won't fit in my stove. I gotta get that off. I think that's enough for today. Tomorrow is another day. And I have plenty of wood for tomorrow. Tonight, tomorrow. Oh, oh. let's go put this in the house.